Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. In this video, I'm going to show you what's coming in the new update to Windows 11. Microsoft call this Moment 2 feature. It's coming in March and it's available now for Windows Insiders on the release preview. So I'm going to show you some of those features off. So I've got a virtual machine running uh, Windows 11 with the latest uh, update on it that has these, these changes. Now, the first thing I want to show you is the first, the first new feature is uh, what's called Tablet Automized Taskbar. So here we are running it on my Surface Go. You can see here the big taskbar at the bottom there. That's because I'm in um, in that taskbar mode. And then it will pop down and disappear out of the way when you're not using it. Like that. So it's out of the way and gives you more space on the screen. So it's a really useful mode for, for a tablet. And it's uh, something I use quite a lot on the Surface Go. So that's the first feature. I like that. So you can see down here I've got a, the new search UI. Uh, here at the bottom of my main screen is the current version of Windows, which is, looks like that with the with the magnifying glass. Here you've now got the ability to start typing straight away, whereas before you clicked that and then you started typing. You can adjust this if you go into settings, uh, personalization taskbar, you've got the option of search box, or you can have the icon as it is now, icon and label, or the search box as well. So you've got the, the, the control over that. Another change in settings is um, around energy requirements, and this can help you reduce your energy consumption on your PC. So here you can see the, the recommendations, and um, I can then apply those recommendations, which will then change my settings here. It will uh, set the power mode for best efficiency, and it will turn the screen off and so on. So you can just apply that, and that will apply those settings, or you can manually control them as you did before. So another change is here is down on the um, system tray. You can see they've got the curved UI on there. Here's mine with a slightly straight look, and like that, you can see OneDrive there is squared off. That's got that curved UI. I, if if I had more, you can actually drag you drag them like that and move. When you drag and drop them, now you get the little line to show where they go. But you can you could rearrange them before, but now you, you've got that little UI indication on there. I think Task Manager's had some improvements. So let's take a look. So here's the current one, you see there's no search box, and you see here, you can go in and you can start searching for um, for the application that you want to end task or, or view whatever it's doing, so you, you've, got the, you've got the choice on that. And there's themes as well, so you've got light or dark mode in there. There are some other ones, but those are the main changes. Some of the changes, if you've got a machine with a neural processing unit, I think that's like the Surface Go, the latest of the Surface Pro with the ARM processor, um, you can... Uh, get access to the Windows Studio effects where you can turn on background blur, eye contact, that kind of thing. And you'll be able to get that access directly from here. Uh, this machine doesn't have that, but that's where you'll be able to see them if you're on there. And there's some other interesting ones. If you're using Braille or the voice, um, the Braille's been improved, the Braille reader and the voice control has been approved as well. I've got a separate video on voice control you can check out on our YouTube channel. So then the, the main changes I want to cover in this video, one thing to note as well, it's, it's not um, a major update with a massive install, it's just a, a minor update that will come through the regular Windows update, so you don't have to go and get it, it'll just come down, and, um, when Microsoft releases it, it'll come down as a Windows update and you'll see these new features. The things like the search are particularly in, uh, in Task Manager are quite useful, and the, and the search on here. For tablet users, that new tablet mode is pretty good as well. So, so those are the main changes. So, not a huge update, not a massive download either. Just a small patch coming from Microsoft uh, in March. Thanks for watching this video. You can find out a lot more about Windows 11 on our YouTube channel and other uh, tech devices and gadgets. Some of these features have been in testing for Windows Insider for some time, and on our YouTube channel. I go through with the, the new features as they get released from Microsoft so you can see some of these features as they get released. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.